Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to talk about three ways that you can get a smooth, nice looking satin finish. Now satin finishes are, well, they're nice. They're pretty popular. They're cool because they have a very vintage look to them. They have a very clean look to them. They don't fingerprint quite like, you know, a gloss and that kind of thing. Now, they're a little more high maintenance than a gloss sometimes because they're tougher to clean and you can actually end up buffing parts of them up by accident. But still, they're a fairly sought after finish. Now, they are challenging for a couple of reasons. One of the main ones is you can't really polish a satin finish. So you can't go in at the end and, you know, scuff it up and sand it really smooth and then polish it up because then it will be gloss. Now I have covered before how to do a satin finish with spray cans, with lacquers, and that was using these Oxford Supply nitrocellulose lacquers. Um, that's one of the methods. So spoiler alert, one of the easiest and best ways to get a nice satin finish is to use satin paint. Now, of course, there are a bunch of different satin paints out there. Uh, some of the simple ones like porch and patio paint are often satin or eggshell finish which is kind of similar it does matter what you get but it matters what you're looking for as well if you're painting something like a guitar for example which is if you're following me probably what you're painting you probably don't want to go that route you want to go with something a little bit more professional and that's where something like this this nitrocellulose lacquer from oxford comes in you can get it for a spray gun or a spray can and as long as you know what you're doing it doesn't really matter what you use what I will say is if you're doing a satin finish, do it at the clear coat stage. And in fact, do it at the end of the clear coat stage because there is an additive in satin clears that make them satin. And that additive can cause clouding if you build up too much. So start with gloss clear, build up your clear coat, sand it smooth with something like 800 grit, and then finish it off with a final coat or two of satin. Okay. That's the obvious one, but there are a couple different ways, a couple other ways that you can get a nice satin finish. Let's take a look at those. So next on the list, we have oil finishes, or in particular, hard wax oil finishes. There are a couple really good ones out there. Odie's Oil, I've got Odie's Dark here, but Odie's Oil is a very well-known one. Works great, and I'll show you how to use it. Um, I also now have a hard wax oil finish from Maximum Guitar Works that I'm going to be demoing that I think is going to be absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to work with it. I think that's going to be, if anything, at least as good as Odie's. So stay tuned for that. But this stuff is very straightforward to work with, and it does give you a nice satiny finish. Now, one important thing to note here is you can actually do a clear coat, be it gloss or something similar, uh, gloss, matte, satin, whatever. And if it's not perfectly smooth, you can go in with something like this afterward. You can give it a light, smooth sanding and do this. Now, I'm just doing a little section of this to show you. I've done demos of Odie's Oil before. If you've been watching my channel for a, a while, you've seen that. You've seen me refresh finishes with it and whatnot. I'll be doing the same thing with the Maximum Guitar Works product. But just to show you what we're dealing with, we're going to do this little section here and give it a nice satin finish. So I'm just using a low abrasive or non-abrasive piece of scotch braid here. Hopefully you don't hear me breathing too heavy, but I'm going to buff that in with this. And I'm just going to do this section. And then I'm going to wait about 45 minutes and I'm going to buff it off with a cloth. And you'll see what I mean. We should be left with a nice satiny finish. All right, here we go. We'll just buff that off. Now, let me see what kind of view I can give you of this. Okay, hopefully I can catch the light properly here. So this is the unfinished area. There's no sheen, not much going on there. And then I bring you over to this area. And there you go. You can see that kind of satin sheen, gentle reflection of the lights. And like I said, that works on an existing finish or on smooth sanded bare wood, or really on, on a number of things. So that's the second option. Let's move on to the third. So here we have alternative number three, um, which I'll show you in a second. We were starting with a gloss. 
not a very smooth one, but a gloss nonetheless. I'm going to turn this into a satin finish. Now, this sounds a lot like what I was just saying could be done with the Odie's oil, and it can. So, oh, this is very dirty on the side. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I get for using the demo body. So, this can be done with the Odie's oil, this trick. Um, what it is is basically buffing back a gloss to a satin. Now, the Odie's oil is available at Solo Music Gear. If you're looking for it, there's a Solo Music Gear link in the description. It's an affiliate link, so if you pick something up through there, it helps me out. Um, but here, they also have this. This is the Jeskar Paste 2L. This is a an abrasive polish. Now, you can do this with buffing wax and steel wool, or you can do it with something like this. I'm going to use this Jeskar Paste, and again, one of my little very low abrasive pads scotch Bray pads and I'm just going to go ahead and use that paste and this pad and buff this back this is going to knock the gloss off this thing but also kind of polish it to about a satin finish and that's what we're going for here so I'll just do kind of this section so that I can compare it a little bit to the gloss patch up here okay I knock that back, and there's no waiting period here. This isn't like the Odie's oil where I'm waiting 45 minutes and then buffing it off because I'm, I'm not buffing this up. I'm buffing it back. So I'll use my cloth again, give that a wipe down. And by a wipe down, I mean a buff. Get that polish off of there. Now, if you go at this too hard, it is a polish, so you're going to end up glossier. You may have to do it once or twice to knock it back more, but already I'm taking off a lot of gloss there. So I'm gonna go at it once more here. This stuff's also fantastic for polishing metal, by the way. This is the Jeskar product. It's great for that. I use it to knock the gloss off of necks. That's one of my favorite uses for it, to make them faster if they're already gloss. I don't finish my necks in gloss generally. But anyway, and then there we go. Taking a look from over here, you can see there's still, uh, if I get the angles right, there's still a gloss section over there. But if I move back here, this has now become satin. Would have been nice if I had sanded it flat first, but oh well. There we go. All right, guys, so there we have it. Three ways to get a smooth satin finish. The first, simply apply a satin clear coat or a satin finish to your item. Uh, again, usually you'll want to build up with a gloss clear if you're trying to do a high quality finish and then finish off with a satin. Second option, use something like a hard wax oil, ODs, Maximum Guitar Works, something like that. Even a modified tongue oil or a shellac, you can buff up to a satin finish using those kinds of alternatives. They're not meant to do a hard gloss. And finally, take a clear coat that's already a gloss and buff it back to a satin finish rather than applying one over top using something like a hard wax oil or alternatively a compound that's more aggressive, that's better at knocking off the gloss, something designed for metal, for example. Those options all work well. You can sand smooth and then use them. So you can sand a gloss clear coat that's got orange peel smooth and then apply satin through one of these alternatives, and they're all fairly straightforward. I hope this helps. If you've got any questions, as always, drop them in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out. And remember to subscribe so you can see all the other tips and tricks I have. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.